Earlier this month, this video captured by a woman on Sydney Island sparked controversy and outrage over Parks Canada Phase 2 of eradicating deer off the island. It was very distressful to see uh, an animal in such panic. Once the video went viral, Parks Canada temporarily shut down Phase 2 of the project. People in Ottawa are the ones in Parks Canada that really betrayed the trust of the Spanish people. For some First Nation leaders, this abrupt stop to the project is considered a betrayal by Parks Canada, just days before what was to be the final killing sweep. All of our, our First Nations people that were participating in, in the project and now ready to go were pretty disappointed that uh, they did so without any consultation of our people, any notice. Hereditary Chief Kochkanam, or Eric Pelkey, understands concerns about the animals' well-being, but also argues that the animals were already marked for extermination in Phase 2. We're, we're, we're sad about it, but uh, we're not surprised. This is the end result of a very disastrous decision that was made a year ago. And there was a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, complete rejection of, uh, or even unwillingness to seriously discuss a uh, possible different alternative. Despite public concern for the well-being of the Sydney Island's invasive species, Kuchkenam and the Sanich Leadership Council are going to restart more consultations with Parks Canada. We have traditional ways of hunting, which, which we, we call a, a push, a push where all of our people fan out on one section of an island and, and then they push the deer up to an area where they, they can be taken. The push method of hunting can be dated back since time immemorial. This method of hunting for First Nations allowed for an entire community to be involved in the hunting process in order to move prey quickly and efficiently before it's eliminated. Kuchkinam wants to propose this method to Parks Canada and remove the need for foreign shooters and netting. In a statement from Parks Canada, they attributed the postponement of Phase 2 to the welfare of the animals on the island and the poor netting that was used. It concludes that it will do more consultations with First Nations and partners to come up with a solution to complete the restoration of the island's ecosystem. These are the wild, bear, wild berries out here. Kuchkinam, along with other partners, are scheduled to meet with Parks Canada this coming week to hopefully propose a different Phase 2 anchored in tradition.